Hi, this is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens, and you're watching our YouTube channel, Puts Ponds. Today I want to take you on a little journey, and I'm going to be visiting some indoor ponds. I want to show you what it's like to have an indoor pond. The ponds that we're going to be visiting, one of them is one that we built back in 2016. It's a really nice residential indoor pond. I think we do yearly maintenance on that pond. Another one is an indoor pond that we upgraded the filtration on it and added a couple water features to it. The last one is a pond that we maintain on a weekly basis in a commercial setting for an office building. So come on along with us. We'll try to educate you a little bit on what it's like to have an indoor pond and some of the benefits of it. So let's go check it out. An indoor pond can do more than soothe the soul and well-being by making a contribution to interior spaces. With a little imagination, you can build an attractive and beautiful pond that will be easy to maintain and add interest to the area where it's built. An indoor pond has more health benefits than you may realize. One benefit is the relaxing, calming effect of both the sight and sounds of moving water. There are other psychological benefits like promoting calmness, focus, creativity, and a better sleep quality. Right now, we're at the Windermere Park Senior Assisted Living. And here, what we've done is we've added some filtration to this pond, so that way the residents of Windermere can enjoy this water feature and these big fish. So today what we'd like to show you, not only this pond, but other ponds that we've done, and what are some of the benefits of having an indoor water feature are. More than just, you get to enjoy your fish all year round, but you get to enjoy the sights and the sounds of a water feature indoors, 24 seven. In addition, water in all forms releases negative charged ions into the air, which combat free radicals and purifies the air of dust mites, pollen, germs, allergens, and pollutants, and in turn keeps your body healthy. These negative ions are also believed to boost serotonin levels, which relieve stress and depression, and help to increase energy, alertness, and concentration. During the winter months, low humidity in a residence can become an issue, leading to worsening allergies, dry skin, static electricity, and increased susceptibility to colds and the flu. An indoor pond can naturally add moisture to a room in which it is in. Not only is this beneficial for you and your family, it is also good for the plants in the room. No matter what type of water feature you choose, you are sure to reap all the benefits it provides for your residents and your family for years to come. take care of the plants around as well and the fish are happy no predators for them because it is an indoor setting um, but from the feedback that we've gotten from people that have visited this office building it's very positive it's 
tranquil, they love to hear the sound, they love to watch the fish, they come down here at lunchtime and they feed them. Some of the maintenance benefits to having an indoor pond versus an outdoor pond is no leaves. Leaves get saturated with water, sink down to the bottom, they start to rot. Once they rot, they become food for that noxious thing we call algae. So we're at stop number three, and this is a residential pond that we installed back in 2016. Now this is an indoor pond here as well. As you can see, right inside this greenhouse area, that was in addition to the original house. The homeowners moved in right after that addition was built. So we're going to go inside, we're going to meet the homeowner, we're going to see what she likes about her pond. Hey, Hi, how's it going? Good. Going on. this way? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The grandkids like the turtles? They love them, yeah. Do they? Yeah. Have they gotten out yet? Yeah, out, that's how we have them. Yeah, oh, and my yeah. husband, we seem to have work on it now, and we feed them more often. I feed them um, lettuce and strawberries and stuff, and I feed them the tortoise and the rabbit, and I would feed the turtles too, and they like the grass. Even the koi eat lettuce. You try that on watermelon? No, I haven't done that at all. <laughs> yeah. They seem to nibble, so I'll take a lot of it out of your hand. Mm. I love the black patina on the inside walls of the pond. Yeah. This kind of gives it that look that it's even dark, deeper. So we've shown you three examples of indoor ponds, but the possibilities are endless. We're going to hang out here for a little longer just to enjoy feeding these fish. We want to thank you for coming on this journey today. If you have any questions or comments about indoor ponds that we've shown you here in this video, make sure you leave your comments below. We'll answer every one of them. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't done so, subscribe like, and share our videos with friends. Thanks again from all of us at Puts Ponds and Gardens.